Hi, Matt Fozella here from Bryant University Auto Visual Office. Here we're talking about our latest piece of tech, the digital whiteboard, or as we call it, the Eno board. In order to use the Eno board, you need to come to the AV office and get this bag. This bag contains two things, a magnetic strip, and this box. This box contains the digital whiteboard pen, an extra battery, and the USB dongle, which is going to provide the drivers that you need. As soon as you have these, we'll get on to setting it up. The first step in configuring the Eno pen with the Eno board is to turn the computer on. The computer holds all the software needed to drive the Eno board. Without the computer, the Eno board will not work. Next step is to route your source. We're going to route the rack PC to both the standard screen and the Eno board. This will allow us a preview monitor as there is no actual monitor on the teacher station itself. The next step in configuring the Eno whiteboard is to locate the wireless keyboard. This will be located on a wheel around stand and you need to log in. You can log in using the username 250, no password, as written on the wireless keyboard right here. Let's go ahead and do that now. Once you've logged in using the room credentials and given a few minutes for the system to boot up entirely, locate in the small EnoPen box what looks like a USB memory stick, but is actually the driver dongle for the Eno board. Once you've found the Polyvision USB driver, you want to stick it inside the rack PC in the USB slot. Give it a minute or two to configure itself. Once the device has successfully installed itself, you must access the Polyvision hardware in the lower right hand toolbar on the desktop. This icon right here says Polyvision driver. Click on it and opt to configure the Polyvision driver. Once you have clicked configure the Polyvision driver, you will be prompted with this pop-up window. Come to the left hand side and click the hardware icon. At this point, you are ready to pair the stylus. Come to the upper right and choose Pair Stylus. Get your Eno Pen or Stylus ready. We will click Pair Stylus. We will be prompted with a dialog box, auto pairing. Place the cap on the Eno Stylus, which it is, wait several seconds, and then remove it. Okay. At this point, the stylus is communicating with the Bluetooth dongle you plugged into the computer and preparing to pair itself. It will take several seconds. Pairing is now complete. We can see it here, as noted by Eno Stylus 1. In a moment, the auto pairing box will go away and we will be ready to configure the pen. We are now ready to configure the pen as seen by this auto pairing. The Eno Stylus was paired successfully. To start using your Eno board with a projector, Touch the pen to the board. At this point, don't click that OK icon. Instead, step up to the board and swipe the pen. What I mean by swiping the pen is simply take your pen and swipe it across the screen. At this point, you will be prompted with a configuration menu. You must always configure the Eno pen every time you reinstall a driver onto the computer. You're presented with these small crosshairs. You want to touch the point of the pen into these crosshairs. There's nine of them in total. At this point, the Eno pen is configured, and this is essentially a mouse. We can click OK. Now we're ready to go. At this point, your pen is configured. You're ready to annotate. You're ready to use the pen as a mouse. You're ready to use the new ideation lab. One last note about the Eno board. Do not forget the magnetic strip that allows you to control the Eno stylus from mouse pointer to pen, as well as change colors. This is a magnetic strip that can be used anywhere in the room, but the board itself is magnetic, so we recommend you mount it there. At this point, you can now use this pen as a marker. For further information about how to use this classroom as a whole, please refer to the Ideation Lab tutorial. Thank you. Goodbye.